Hello, in this video we are going to cover setting up GLM into your project on a Windows machine. So if I open up Visual Studio, I've got this project that's using GLM or trying to use GLM and because it's not set up you'll get errors like these. To set it up it's extremely simple. Let's open up a web browser, just Google GLM. There will be a link in the description as well to the GLM website. Go to this link right here. Go to downloads, not release notes. Downloads. This will take you to the GitHub page. From here, I would just recommend the latest version, which is 0.9.84 as of recording this video. But all versions should work fine using this process. And just download either a 7-zip or a zip. Either one is fine. So once you've downloaded that, which I've already done so, you'll get a, let me just go to it. So you'll get a file like where is it oh i'll just download it again because it is extremely small so if we go to glm go to glm.g downloads okay so click download zip okay this is this will be done within a few seconds and now just going to be extracting this once it's done. Okay, so just extract it using whatever tool you want. I'm using WinRoy, you can use 7-zip, you can use something else, it does not really matter. And once that's extracted, you'll get this folder called GLM. So this is the folder that we're gonna copy over. So if we copy this into our project, and we're gonna be using relative linking so regardless of where we move our project it'll be linked with it and this is great because it makes it more portable but glm is a very lightweight library like soil for example so it doesn't actually matter if you have multiple instances of it from a capacity point of view so if i paste it here so this is just a few megabyte in here the only folder that we actually are concerned with is this glm folder so what we can do is get rid of every other folder let's delete that so this is the sort of structure that you want where your code is you want glm within that you want glm within that it will have all of the glm code files which is what this is trying to access so glm glm.hpp falls here the reason is still giving me red and the reason I won't be able to build is because I haven't linked it up to my project. To do that, I click your project, go to properties, go to C, C++, general, and go to additional include directories, click the drop down, click edit, and now click new, type in, you can even do the three dots, but the problem with the three dots is it absolutely links it. And if you're doing absolute linking, it's no point putting it with your project you'll put it in just some sort of one global directory like in your c drive for example where you can just access it you can do that method as well and the process is the same way that you've done for anything else so if you do dollar open brackets solution dir and this just refers to the solution directory and that happens to be where this sln file is so we need to go into OpenGL underscore Visual Studio to save some time. I'm going to copy this name. So we're going into there. So it's going to be forward slash. We're going into there. And now we just need to do GLM. And that is it. So forward slash GLM. Click OK. Apply. OK. And now these errors should disappear. Let's just build it. And as you can see, build is successful and the errors have disappeared. So if we were to do hash include angle brackets indicating it's a library file, glm for slash, we get all of the files that were within that folder. And if we wanted to use them, for example, we we'll just do glm colon colon, glm is the namespace, so you could do using namespace glm, for example, and that's it for setting up glm on a windows machine if you have any questions feel free to post them on our educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk there'll be a link in the description to that along with a link to glm as well if you like the video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment 
and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.